Now, battling drug and alcohol addiction is a daily battle, but the Oxford House here in Hawaii is doing their part, providing affordable housing to help people live a clean and sober life. Siona Kenny and Tracy Parker from the Oxford House join us in the studio. Thank you so much for coming in. And first off, I guess a lot of people are wondering, what is the Oxford House and how is it helping Hawaii? Well, Oxford House are clean and sober houses that um, we like to call recovery homes. Okay. And we're helping people that suffer from the addiction of um, alcoholism, um, opioid abuse, um, methamphetamines, um, get them off the streets. We're helping with homelessness, providing homes. We have 41 houses on the island of Oahu and uh, 400 beds that we're providing right now for people of Hawaii. So what is the difference between the Oxford house and say a halfway house? Let's see, the diff big difference is that we are democratically run. Okay. So we have officers of the house. We have a president, a treasurer, a secretary, a comptroller, a chore coordinator. And every six months, new officers are voted in by the house members. Every week, we have a mandatory house meeting that uh, we follow the parliamentary procedures. Uh, I make mm -hmm. a motion, second the motion. You know, all in favor, aye. And that kind of thing. So um, that's a huge difference. We don't have a paid staff that lives, lives in each and every one of the houses. And about uh, four, maybe about 2,500 houses around the world okay. in five different countries Ghana, Africa, and you know, here in Hawaii. So basically, the houses treat people like adults, uh, being responsible. And you guys are actually success yes. stories. Talk yeah. about that, Tracy. Thank you. Um, I had my struggles with drugs and alcohol two years ago. Um, I there was some legal problems. Mm -hmm. I need to move out of my home. I opened up, I helped Mr. Kenny, and I opened up a clean and sober female house in Kaniohi, which is very successful right now. Lived there for a couple months. Um, I love the way the system was set up. Mm -hmm. And it was set up for success. So I stayed, I found myself in service a lot. Um, just June, they asked me if I wanted to be an outreach worker. So now I am an outreach worker for Oxford House, Inc. So you can relate to the people and say, look at me. Yes. yes. So wh I'm wondering, how can people help out there that are wondering, how can they help? A lot of different ways. So we uh, currently uh, do a lot of fundraising. Um, so one of them is a golf tournament that we're having at the Waikele Country Club on August the 10th. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a website, which is oxfordhouse.golf. OxfordHouse.golf, and uh, even if you're not attending, there's a place where you can donate. So any amount would be wonderful, and we hope to see you out at the golf tournament. That'd be great. And uh, yeah, there you have. For more information on the charity golf tournament, it's a three-person scramble tournament. Just log on to our website at kchwin2.com. Siona and Tracy, thank you so much for coming in, and appreciate you sharing thank your you. story. All right, thank Aloha, you. Aloha, Oxford family. <laughs>